Why women don't like most men. So if you're a modern man living in today's day and age, you probably notice that most women don't find most men attractive. And there are very good reasons for this, which we're going to categorize in this video. We're going to go over each of the separate points. There's biological reasons. There's the way that they experience our society. And then the final one is the way people meet is also not super beneficial. So we're going to cover all those. And then if you stay to the end, we're going to tell you what exactly to do as a guy that you can do to make yourself more attractive because most guys out there are not attractive to women and the data shows it. Okay. Okay, Cupid did a study and they found that women find 80% of men unattractive. Now, this was different for men who found at least half of women attractive, okay, when they showed their profiles on dating apps, okay? That's number one. Number two is that a lot of women, when they go on dating apps, they will mostly see a lot of guys who they don't want to get with, okay? They have no shortage of guys that will match with them, but for them to find someone attractive, it's very, very difficult. In fact, a lot of women that I've been on dates on, I went on one date with a woman who said she went through a thousand profiles before she swiped right on me, okay? She swiped left on 999 profiles and then swiped once on me, okay? Now, I'm not an, an example. I think I was just her type or whatever it was, but in this is a perfect example of a woman who, when she goes through life, she gets to basically have her pick. But the guys do not get to have her pick when it comes to the beginning of the dating process. Very frequently, women get tired of dating because they have to turn guys down. They say there's no spark, no connection. But more frequently, men are the ones getting turned down, okay? So what is the reason for this? Why do most women find most men not appealing to them or attractive to them, okay? Now, the first reason is gonna be biology. Biologically speaking, women are very different from men when it comes to when it comes to our reproductive parts and it comes to the way that we choose mates, okay? Our experience in the world is vastly different between the sexes. I don't care what anybody says. And it comes down to the biology between us, okay? Number one, women have a higher cost of sex than men do, okay? They can get pregnant. They have higher chance of STDs, but mostly it's the pregnancy thing, okay? If you have the chance to have a baby with somebody, that really changes your life. I mean, think about how things were in tribal society. If a woman met a guy and she had sex with him super quickly, she could get pregnant and then she would have to deal with the repercussions of that for nine months. She couldn't mate again for another nine months. I mean, she can mate, but she won't be able to get pregnant again. So that guy's genes, she better be sure that they're good. She better be sure that he's going to stick around because if he doesn't stick around, she might have the child and then she's going to be immobile for a good period of time. She's going to have to take care of that child. She can't gather food and everything. So she needs a man to stick around. Okay, It's a big, big decision. Whereas opposed to us as men, when we have sex, the cost is super low. We lose some sperm. We have hundreds of millions of that in our body. It's not a huge cost for us to have sex with somebody else, right? Now, for women, not just that, but there's also the mental component as well, too. When women get with somebody, they experience different feelings, okay? They get more attached to that person. More oxytocin is released. Men can have casual sex a lot more easily than women can. So if they're going to go engage with somebody, they have to be sure that that person is actually going to be someone that they like. So they think about a lot more things than men do when it comes to the biology. Not only this, but the act of sex in and of itself is much more can be much more painful. It can be much more of an invasive thing for women because it's literally a guy going inside of her as opposed to us where that doesn't happen, okay? So all of the things when it comes to our biology make the act, make dating a bigger deal for women. So they're going to be much pickier than men are even if society is taken out of the equation. Now let's talk about society because when it comes to society, there's also big differences between the way men go through society and the way women go through society. Now, a great part about being a guy is we can walk down the street and we feel less danger than women. There's a lot of people who think that men don't experience any danger. I mean, come on, if you're walking down a sketchy road, yes, a guy is gonna feel very nervous and the stats show that men have a lot more violence committed against them than women do. But when a woman walks down the street, she is weaker than you. She is more of a target. Yes, she is going to feel a lot more scared when she's walking through her everyday life. But when it comes to dating, when it comes to what she gets and receives, women have a completely different, in my opinion, a little bit more spoiled experience, okay? Even if you're not a woman who's super attractive, you are gonna have a lot of guys that are trying to hit on you. You're gonna have a lot of guys sliding into your DMs sending you messages. Like I say, when it comes to dating apps and a woman's swiping right, she's probably going to match with that guy. He's a much higher chance of swiping right and matching with a guy 
than a guy does with a woman, okay? Women have too many matches when it comes to the dating apps typically, and men don't get any matches, okay? You go out, who's treated better at the bar, who's treated better at the parties, it's usually women because a lot of guys are trying to sleep with them, okay? When you're walking through life and you're just receiving free stuff, people are being nice to you and all of that, like, you know, as a woman, you received a lot of attention that you didn't ask for, attention that you didn't work for, and a lot of preferential treatment based on this, okay? So when you're going through life in the dating market, they have a well or seemingly wealth of options, okay? A woman can sleep with a celebrity, they have you know a much higher chance of that. And so sometimes women will get in this and they'll be in a bubble and they'll think that those are the kinds of men that they deserve because they can log on. And frequently when you hear women complain about dating, they're talking about these guys that just slept with them and they're wondering, how can I get these guys to do what I want to do? Well, those guys don't want to date you. They're, they're comfortable sleeping with you, but not enough to date you. So in their head, they think they're up here, but in reality, they're actually more like down here. Now, a lot of people have an inflated sense of ego of what their expectations are when it comes to dating, but when you walk through the world as a woman, it's a very different experience than it is for a guy. I mean, a woman's going to have more options or more options thrown at her in a given day than most guys get in their lifetime. And so when you have this disparity between who's getting the most attention and who has seemingly the most choice, obviously women are much more spoiled than men are. Now, when it comes to this, if you've been spoiled with your options in dating, do you really think you're gonna take each individual date that seriously? No, it's much more likely you're gonna take it for granted. It's much more likely you're gonna go out on the date and be like, eh, I wasn't really feeling it, you know? Now, when it comes to those types of situations, like I said, women, not only that they're pickier, but also too, they feel like they can just log on a dating app and go out with another guy. And if it's that simple, when there's no little to no investment on their part, when it comes to the date, do you really think they're going to take it as seriously as you are when you got that one match that you've been waiting on for the entire month to go on a date with? So you can get 10 of those tomorrow by swiping. So there's obviously a big disparity when it goes to coming out uh, on a date for, for women and for men. Additionally too, let's talk about another aspect of society. When it comes to earning, women are earning way more money than they ever have in today's society, okay? Women actually earn more money in total than men are. Now, the higher positions are occupied by men, but when it comes to earning, women are earning much more money than they ever have in history, okay? Much more college degrees are earned by women than men, okay? Much more of the new jobs that are available, most of them are hiring women, especially when it comes to the healthcare industry. So when it comes to those, a lot of women are having a higher status in society than a lot of men. Okay. When it comes to status, it's super important for people to understand this. Okay. For those of you who don't know what hypergamy is, women do not want to date down. They want to date at their level or up. They won't even hook up with a guy who is what they consider to be below them. Okay. Well, they might do it if it's like, uh, you know, a guy of especially high mate value. Okay. Like maybe he's super good looking or something like that. Um, you know, or maybe they just like are super drunk and have a lot of alcohol in them on rare occasions, but very rarely are they gonna do that, okay? Most of the time it's that right here, okay? Right here and above. Now, when it comes to men earning less than they ever have, the available pool for women to be into is much, much lower, especially as it climbs higher and higher. Now, people say, well, if a woman's earning more, shouldn't she be less, uh, put less importance on that? No, women actually put more importance on that, okay? The more money a woman earns, the more she cares about the earning potential of her partner. Because you hear a lot of women say this, I just want, you know, I want a guy who I can like admire or look up to or respect. They literally want to look up to you in the relationship. And if that's the case, most of the time you gotta be earning more than them or at least be doing something that she can really admire. And since a lot of women are entering the workforce and a lot of men are struggling when it comes to that, the pool of dating has become much more, more narrower when it comes to those kinds of women, okay? And they're growing in number. So that brings me to my third point, which is way, the way people meet, okay? You're thinking, okay, well, if, if they have, the, if you're just focusing on status, you're just focusing on biology, but what about the connection that people feel, right? Okay, shouldn't people just be focusing on how they feel and the connection around them? Well, let's talk about how people are meeting these days, okay? People meet with very quick and fast, meetings, okay? Swiping on an app, looking at them on social media, okay? When a woman goes on a date, like I said, she is not putting as much importance as she did before. 
50 years ago when a woman got asked on a date, it was a big deal. Now she can just log on her phone. She got 10 guys that want to take her out on a date. You really think she's going to take it as important as she did before? No. All right. And as a result, she's going to be judging men off of what she sees. Like when it comes to just like looks, they usually need to know more information about the guy. So a lot of times they'll be dismissive or they will invent <laughs> things that they thought of in their head when they see a guy's profile. And then if he doesn't, when he inevitably doesn't match up to whatever their fantasy, whatever their ideal partner is, because people are human, then they get disappointed. Now men do this too, but when it comes to women, like I said, because they are so easily able to meet these men, um, they, they put less importance in the dates that they're actually going out to. So the fact that we're not meeting people in ways that we did before, and the fact that we're meeting people through extremely fast and superficial means makes the judgment on them much, much harsher. So the question is, with these three points, how are modern men going to win in today's society? I mean, how are you supposed to win if the game is rigged against you? Okay. The important thing to understand is that the game is not rigged against you. There are disadvantages to males at the beginning of the dating process. More disadvantages than there were in the past, but there are also a lot of advantages. Now, what we've seen in the modern era is that there's a big disparity, okay? there, Yes, there is a large portion of men that women do not find attractive. And the stats show this. About a third of men out there are not getting laid, okay? And like women just don't want to sleep with them. They haven't left their house. They literally don't think that they have any appeal towards women. These are usually men who do not have any sort of status. These are usually men that are very poor. And unfortunately, sometimes these are men that become very bitter and angry and they start forming, you know, online groups. Um, but generally, they're extremely lonely people. Okay. There's almost three classes of society in today's day and age. Okay. There's high status men, there's women, and there's low status men. And if you're in the low status men, you are getting screwed the hardest out of all of them. Okay. It's way better to be a woman than to be a low status man in today's society. Okay. Way better. Okay. Because at least as a low status woman, you have the potential to get married to a higher status person. Or, and they typically do much better in school. The, what, the key here is to not become one of those low status men. Now, this doesn't mean you just work your tail off. This doesn't mean that you just do that because I even find that guys who are like maybe entering the middle class or like, you know, trying to raise up, they still have trouble with women. And there are some guys, very few, but some in the low status category that can actually make it work. Okay. Because mentally they don't consider themselves low status. One of my buddies, uh, some of you know him as uh, evil stifler or whatever. This is the guy who I used to go out with. He did phenomenal with women, but it's just because he created a really fun lifestyle. Was he making a ton of money all the time? I mean, sometimes he made money. Most of the time, no. But the fact that he was able to create a fun life and bring people into that, that is what made him successful, okay? So what you have to do, you guys, is you have to do three things. Number one, you got to put the focus back on yourself, okay? And really understand that women are not like you, okay? So that's thing two. Put the focus back on yourself. Make sure that you are improving and maximizing your potential. Number two, you are understanding that women are not like you. They go through a different experience and they take longer to be attractive to you. So they take longer to be, they take longer to be attracted to you. What that means is that don't expect people right off the bat to be super into you. Okay, you got to build things up. Sometimes I got to see you a few times. In fact, if you show a woman and she spends more time with a guy, the rates of attraction actually go up. They did the study again with OkCupid, and then when they shared more details about that person, when they got to meet them and all of that stuff, like the, the stats actually went up, okay? Especially when they saw, you know, um, kind of what they were doing with their lives, all right? So you really got to make sure you understand that women are not like you. There's going to be a lot of women that don't like you, and you got to be cool with that. Even the highest status guys out there have plenty of women that don't want to sleep with them. Maybe in their reality, the only women they see are women that want to sleep with them because those are the only women that come up to them, okay? It's possible to create a lifestyle for yourself where the majority of the women that talk to you, that you interact with, are interested in you, but you have to create that lifestyle. You have to get off your ass, you have to start doing work and create it, okay? This is exactly what this channel is built for. Create a weekly schedule where you're actually meeting the kinds of women that you wanna meet. Get a community or a friend group with people that you can spend time with and help you out with this sort of stuff, okay? So many guys are lonely in today's day and age, okay? And the final thing is get smarter and understand that dating process, okay? So to back up a little bit, when I first started talking, it's put the focus back on yourself. Number one. Number two, 
Make sure that you understand that women are not like you and to understand the dating process a little bit better and be cool with it. There are plenty of advantages that you got as a guy. At the beginning of the dating process, it's going to be harder for you, but that's okay because with guys, there are people at the top and there are people at the bottom. And then like women tend to make up the kind of the middle bit, but you have the potential to shoot up and be amazing. But you do have added pressure. And if you do nothing, you will end up at the bottom unless you know you were born into you know a really rich family or something like that okay the final thing is create a lifestyle and a community which is what i was talking about before create a lifestyle and a community that actually brings people in most guys live super boring dull terrible lives no woman is going to want to be a part of that okay a woman is going to be attracted to you for what the life she's going to live with you is going to be like. And if you don't have a life, you're just sitting at your computer all the time and you don't do anything unless she's really into the video games that you play, you're not giving her a lifestyle that she is going to want to live. The only way that you are going to make that work is like if you're her exact physical type or if you just somehow get lucky and she likes the same video game as you, those are really small odds, man. Do other things, do things in your life to bring people in. I talk about this in so many different videos, but if you want, I can come out with more. And the final thing is that what I'm going to be starting is I'm going to be starting a school community where guys can interact with each other. I had a Facebook group before, but I'm starting a school community where you can build up and find people in your area who are trying to level up, okay? It's gonna be called Level Up Academy, and it's gonna to be a free school group that you guys can join and you'll find people in different areas you can post i'll occasionally answer questions there there's going to be a paid one in the future where you know we'll log on calls and stuff but for now that is the community that i want you guys to be going to where you can interact with others find other people who are just like you and one of the biggest problems that we're going to solve with this community is the fact that most men don't have friends they don't have a community they don't have people building them up and that makes it much much harder in your dating life dude i always had wingmen that i could go out with i have a house full of guys right now who have their own business who know how to do well with women, who help me organize events and things like that. So even though I have a girlfriend right now, if I became single tomorrow, I could have three or four girls lined up that wanted to date me. And half of those girls I met through friends of mine. I met through events that we hosted. I wasn't all by myself just swiping on a dating app because if you leave it to chance like that, then you're going to experience a pretty frustrating dating life. I'm not saying it can't work. Obviously, you know, we talk about how to have better photos and stuff like that, but you know, this is the best way to do it, you guys. So that's how you succeed in the modern era. That's why women don't like most men. And that's how you win as a modern day man. Okay, you guys. So we're all going to level up together. Join that school group. Also, if you want to get coached by me personally, that's obviously going to cost some money. Uh, but if you want to join the free school group, that's an option for you as well. But if you're down to pay a little bit of money and you want to get personal, Personal help for me to fix your dating life go to getcoachedbyloyd.com fill out the form and we'll chat good luck out there you guys